Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode of City Bus Manager with me, Top. So last episode we left off, we had made a few bus tri uh, trips, journeys, bus routes. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, we have gone down on this bus route here, which I believe is the 409A. It does carry on further south, but for the time being, it's just uh, Rochdale to Oldham. It is Oldham, isn't it? Unless I'm completely... Yeah, Oldham. Rochdale to Oldham. Uh, we also added on these two bus routes down here. Which is the 512A and the 513A. Now, if I have a look at edit the timetable. This one is the only one that's currently not worked during, uh, open during the week. This one should be on during the week, which it is. And so is this one. It's open during the week. And everything else is up and running. We need to get this bus up and running soon. But for the time being, we can't really. Because we don't have enough buses. But hopefully that all starts now that we do. Because we now have double-deckers. Which I've spent time on upgraded to get five double-deckers. They all have air conditioning, passenger information, and, and the internet. Uh, which our internet package has actually been doing really well. It only used so much of the yesterday because it was a Sunday. But apart from that, we're doing well with our buses and our shift scheduler now are now automatically optimizing what the big buses need to go on to. So we're going to keep it like that for now. If I have a look through the shift scheduler here, I don't think there's any free buses at all. So I think we need to get another two double-decker buses today gonna let the, the game play so get another two double decker buses um and just go from there so obviously yeah that was yesterday in the two days buying the double deckers um but yeah so double decker buses are a go it was pretty simple to implement it meant that we can have all of our buses a bar the 13 or the 513 is it the 513 yes the 513a uh, having buses on the routes. As you can see, the bus does a double-decker coming down here to start off the route. I believe it's starting on... It goes off the map here, which we will be unlocking the map today as well. We're starting off down here, and literally it's going through, and start first journey of the day, and it's getting... If this was a sink, uh, uh, short wheel base, it would have been near enough full. Well, if it was a short wheel base, it would have been full. If it was a long wheel base, it would have near enough been full. But all these buses, like I say, we're doing what we can to get all the bus routes working. There we go. That would have been hectic. So we should now start seeing a lot of stuff. But over here, we've I've not even mentioned over here yet. We've got uh, to get 31,000 tickets sold, which we should get that, and that'll clear our debts. Increase our network to 45%. We're so close, but we don't really have that just yet. Um, there's not really a route I can implement to add that either. Uh, we've got our Climate Action Day off City Festival as well. So we're going to have a lot more buses coming on this day. And we're just having a look uh, at everything. I've also gone through and upgraded... Everything that was under 75% to level 2. Uh, I don't think we've got any unlocks for any more research to do. Because we've got a 405 here, which obviously we can get that straight away, increasing the bus range. As soon as we get our next one. Uh, there's no 400s. Mobile app development. We need 50,000 to do this. So that is one thing we want to do. As we just said that, we can unlock the range. Uh, expanded company premises is another one we could do if we needed to. We can un open repair times. That's great. We're wanting to get the south expand. So that is another one we need to get 40,000 for. We actually have quite a bit of money right now. And I think that was just from one, one thing we did. Yeah, so we just got a reward, which was absolutely amazing. Oh, obviously, we're not doing anything commission-wise, which we don't do anyway. How much would a brand new bus be? Uh, so thirty-two thousand six hundred. So we could technically buy a fifth, a sixth bus, a uh, seventh. Um, and that'll literally be all the buses we could handle. 
and we could possibly get that one new bus route implemented as well at the same point. So why don't I do that? I'm going to get this B network bus. Very nice little bus. Uh, I don't know who made. I, I can't remember off the top of my head who made the buses and who made the skins, but they can all be found on the Steam Workshop. So that's our new double decker bus. We've uh, also expanded our company premises in a sense of we have more lockers, we have more booths, but we don't have more people to run the booths. Uh, do I even have more staff I can hire? I can. So how many service employees do we have? We've got 12. Let's get this up. 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've now got 20 customer service agents, which is great. We have this new bus, which I can literally just go... I keep forgetting the numbers of the buses. For the time being, it will just be D006. I think that will end up being... Tops D006, there we go. Make that the parking space. Have a look at the schedule and if it'll add. There we go. So we can have another bus route to there. I sign all those tomorrow. Do we have any spare buses? We have one spare bus. Which means we might be able to add on that extra route. If not, when we get as soon as we get the next bus, we will do that tomorrow. That'd be absolutely amazing and grand but yeah like i said we want to upgrade the routes today we're going to carry the passengers uh, today we're going to get the climate because the climate today we're not only getting the boost we're getting the more more people on the buses i literally now have enough to buy a brand new bus again and by the end of the day we should have our upgrade there we go so do oh seven. There we go. Make sure that's that space. Uh, we will sign that to a route. Sign them on there. We have a double decker without a bus tomorrow. Without a a, a, a route. So coming midnight or come midnight, we will assign that bus uh, on a journey. Yeah, so all the buses today have got routes. That's great. And we're going to end up hitting our... Hitting our goal to hopefully get... We don't we don't need this at the moment because we're going to be expanding. So we've got that for now, but we're going to be expanding. Now, because of all that, I'm going to add in our extra desks for our service centre. Making sure they're the right way around. Just so we can get this all put in place and open. We obviously don't have the staff to staff it all, but it'll be really good for everything. Obviously, we've only got five, six desks at the moment as well, because that's all we really need for office space. Uh, we've got a big break room as well. Got our toilets, we've got our kitchen. I need a bigger kitchen, but at the time being, everything's up and running. Uh, we also did some research in the break between episodes. With that being that we now have the ability... How are we doing on our contract? Our contract good. We now have the bus wash uh, cleaning. So now cleaning inside is anything under 95 will automatically get cleaned. Anything under 85 on the outside will get cleaned. So that'll be nice and great. We've just got another unlock. We've just got some more money. We have some more research we can do. Oh, okay. So we have quite a lot of research we can do. But we already said we want to expand south first. Get the free one there. And then get the free one there. And we still have enough to get one more unlock, which will be USB chargers. Um... Do I unlock that now? Because I know we want to get app development. I think we'll work towards app development first. 
uh, and we'll see how much money we get from the rest of it all. But yeah, unlocking south is definitely our major point we need to do, which is what we're obviously now doing right now. Uh, it just means we get some more... I know we'll be able to get a bus route here or two bus routes, may even be able to extend that to the to the to the well to the furthest point maybe. Uh over here I know we need to go more west for this, but that'll come later. But we know we need to unlock further down to unlock more of Manchester itself. And we're getting so much income today. Like it's crazy. It's not even it's just lunchtime. And we've got so much here. Um 100 on profit on, a, on the day, which is insane. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obviously develop a mobile app as well. So these are obviously very highly worked. Uh, with that being said, researchers. We want the friendly researchers. Give us friendly researchers. We'll get all the researchers. Now, how many researchers is that we've got? 11. Let me add uh, some more. Where are they? Office. Standing desk. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just realized they're the wrong way. get these the correct way so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let's hire another researcher and we got another two we got another three we got another four and then we want to make sure our researchers we want to make sure six are present during off hours just to keep things going and uh, let's get some more where are they standing desks down i wanted to move that around because i did it the wrong way <laughs> well, we're getting certain some upgrades which is great i just need you to leave your desk oh there we go our mop extension there we go took a second to load in let me just make sure we save it there. And let's have a look there where we've got. So, I believe this is the start of Greater Manchester. We've got a press switch. And then I don't know where anything else. But we should now have the area unlocked to unlock this area here. Which we will do shortly, but we've made 130,000 on the day. I'm getting all, guessing all of our routes are absolutely packed. Because it looks it. That is amazing. Oh, someone's away from this computer, so I can now flip that around so it's the correct way. There we go. So we have obviously our research coming through. I'm going to unlock the USB port so we can get that upgraded. Obviously, for another 50, we can unlock west or more south. I think we're going to unlock more south again next. Um, just so we can start showing the extra Greater Manchester. But we need 60,000 to unlock a bigger area. So I think we unlock to here. So we're going to look at that next. Is That is definitely our next uh, priority is upgrading further away and obviously we need to increase our bus network now uh dramatically which we will be able to do it's just a matter of what buses go where to be fair but yeah definitely need to unlock another south and unlock a west so we can get the actual extra bus routes here and then figure out what bus routes go in between her or between all here yeah it's a good little route though we've got set up now everything is getting packed like it is kind of crazy with uh, how many buses are getting packed 
what are we getting up? What? So, so mobile app and USB ports are the only other two that are currently being unlocked. Got everything else, which is absolutely fantastic. Our climb action day is coming towards an end, but we've made how much? That is a lot of revenue and a lot of profit today. That is absolutely insane. And obviously, if we hit 60,000 by the end of the day, we can re unlock our expansion this way. I mainly, so yeah, uh, I mainly did the, the redid this mostly. So it utilized as much space as it could this way. And obviously, when we expand it to this area, this will all be workshop area at the top, office space area, and obviously our desk area. More bus parking at the back. Yeah. That's the that's the main goal. If you hit 60,000 tonight, we'll look at unlocking the extra bit of research. Uh, the extra area on the research, which we're probably going to do in no time at all. So I'm probably just going to get down here and get ready. We've already unlocked external depots, not that we need it. Uh, but it would be good to, to have when we need to. So let's just have a look. It's going to get 60,000. There we go. Unlock our company ex uh, premises on expanse. Take a little bit longer to unlock. Obviously, these two are in the works. Should also have enough to unlock our USBs on our buses soon uh, as well. Which will be fantastic. But the Climate Action Day and the City Festival is our main go-tos right now. So let me go over here. Let's go to the A13. Let's get this timetable on the go. Which should hopefully mean all of the ones tomorrow should be able to be signed. Oh, we're missing one. We're missing one assignment. And the only way I can think of fixing that, what time is it? does that assignment start? 4.30 p.m. I'll just stick it on to there. It works. We do need an extra bus, though, for everything to be up and running correctly. So we'll leave that to it. But yeah, expansion are imminent, which is great. Premises expansion, that is. Obviously, we need to expand more south. I know we're going to do the olden route this way. Um... Yeah, you can see all the buses going down the main roads. <laughs> there we go. And that was our company premises upgrade, which has now unlocked us to our next area, which that literally means going to streets. Is that one more over? I think it is. There we go. And we unlock that there. Um, we'll get all the roadways in now. So then, obviously, this whole area will be build, uh, built. Uh, part of the building. A mechanic needs some time off. That's okay. Mobile app development is great. So that means people can start using our getting our bus tickets online. And all that good stuff. Uh, each upgrades of apps and more passengers will, uh, which reduces the workload on your service center and increases customer satisfaction. Uh, USB charging ports have been implemented, and I'm probably not going to have enough because it's fifty thousand to upgrade our current buses to that. That is an upgrade we need to do. We're probably going to look at upgrading to expanding our double decker services. Um, so yeah, we are coming to the towards the end of the day. Everything should start getting cleaned. How did we do on our contract? We actually were running very low on our internet, but that is okay with us. All of our buses are now coming back into the area. That is great. That is great. So. Like I say, with all this happening, we need to get some more double-decker buses on the go as soon as we're able to. 
And obviously, all our buses are now going to get cleaned overnight, uh, inside and out. Let's have a quick look at our bus fleet. We've got no broken buses, which is uh, incredible. On here, we've got no low technical conditions. It's like the brake pads are a bit shoddy, but that is fine. Uh, we'll jump to the next day. Uh, we're not going to take any extra bus shifts at all. We're going to let today run with all of our buses on our network. I don't know if this goes this way to the west either for the next area. Because there's an area here which I think is our, the outer limit of this route. Obviously, this route goes a bit more west, but it has unlocked quite a big chunk, hasn't it? Down south, and I think this is Manchester here. Uh, if I zoom all the way in, AO Arena, Team Sports, Manchester Victoria. The Manchester Victoria station we're starting to get. So we're probably going to look at, obviously, getting a lot more bus routes on the cards, on the table, and putting them out there as soon as we're able to. Obviously, we still have this route that terminates here, which is fine. It'll go to the west eventually. Uh, and obviously, go to the east eventually as well to get some more bus routes over here for Oldham. But that is just how this game works, is we slowly build our bus network up. Uh, we slowly work on expansion. Obviously, the fuel price has gone up today, but we've got a city festival, so we're going to get plenty of income. Which is absolutely fantastic. We've got no buses on the 440. These are obviously really packed right now, which is not good. And obviously, yesterday we made a £200,000 profit, which we spent the majority of it on upgrades and a few buses. But today, like I say, all buses is what's needed. And we're going to go double-deckers all the way. Obviously, the more double-deckers we have, the better it is for our network. And we'll be able to obviously shuffle things around as well. I still need to remember what bus route this is. Let me figure out what bus route it is between here and here. I think there's two. And I'm going to get them in the game. I'm not going to actually run them just yet. Okay, so we are back. I have done a bit of research and added a few more bus routes in. We have the 45 and uh, the, the, the 74 and the 75, which is all around here, to a shopping centre. The 90, which is around this area here, I think it's called Crashwich. Uh, the 159, which is between Oldham and Middleton, as well as the 415, which is between Oldham and Middleton. Uh, I don't think we've got anything else added there either, uh, but it adds a few bus routes, as you can see. There's a fair few routes in. Uh, we just need to get more bus stops in more buses to get things in. Um, yeah, so I need to get more buses. I need to upgrade the buses as well. So we're just literally waiting on getting more bus routes coming in. How much is some of the shorter buses? Uh, so it'll be 35... Oh, it's, oh, it's expensive now with the, with the extra... Even taking them off, it's now more expensive than it was before I added them, which is crazy. I thought it was, I swear it was 30 odd thousand. And here as well, these have gone up heavily in price. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to look at that. We also want to upgrade so I get all these to have USBs on, which is another 50,000 nearly to add. But I'm going to have to, because I want to upgrade all the buses, and I want to add more buses. So first things first, as soon as we hit the money. There we go. All of our buses will be upgraded to add USB in. Now, these new routes... 
let me just edit timetable. I'm going to turn everything off but Saturday and Sunday. And then we're going to activate the route. So we can activate them Saturday and Sunday. And get them started. So as soon as it hits the weekend, these routes will be up and running. And we should already have the buses ready for them. If we don't, then we should have the buses by Saturday anyway to get these operational. Uh, I did try and look at ones that goes between places, but for the time being, we just don't have the buses to do so. Get them all off and activate the route. So the routes can be activated now, so... It is still quite a bit for the buses to drive down there to get them done. Uh, I should probably also upgrade all of our stations to the maximum. So everything should be upgraded and working. It just takes a while. So let me get some money coming in, get these upgraded, and then we'll be right back when we can. Okay, so we are back. We currently have just purchased a brand... Well, I say a brand new bus. A second-hand bus. And this second-hand bus is very bad. You cannot lie. So we are going to have to repair this, upgrade this, and get everything up and running and operational as quick as possible. And then we also need to get the bus painted as well for tomorrow. So I actually need to get uh, the thing in to get the paint house. Now, if I look at the... Uh, outdoors, the paint. Build that there. Can I build that onto it? Yes, I can. Just gives me an extra place to put it. Which is away from everything else. This bus is going to get repaired. It's going to get uh, washed, charged, replaced. And hopefully up and running for tomorrow. Because, well, tomorrow is still a shift left less on a bus. Um, and we're not scheduling buses to certain groups just yet, so we'll see how things go. It definitely needs a wash, definitely needs a recharge. Battery is looking okay. So we should get this all done. Uh, I don't have the money to paint it at the moment, so... Yeah, we just have to wait for this to be operational. For tomorrow. And then we can get it on a route. But with that all being said, these new buses, these new bus stops, I have upgraded them to add the up the, the best charging. Uh, Oldham's now upgraded to the best charging as well. So everything that will be on our routes on our network has chargers on them. Um, I probably need to upgrade the bus. Oh, there is... A few, but I need a grand and a half for that, so I can't do that just yet. Uh, I guess it's going to get... Is this getting washed? Where is it? Okay, so it's been washed. It's getting recharged. It's going to get clean on the inside as well, more likely. Uh, we said that it's get painted. And then it'll be up and operational for the morning. I think it wants a day off. That's fine by me. So we're going to get it into the new paint booth. And we're just going to load the new network on. And how many miles has it got compared to like one of our newer ones? It's got quite a few miles on, but hopefully... Once it's had a clean on the inside, it should be fully operational. And we can auto-assign everything today. And hopefully tomorrow as well. Friday, perfect. And Saturday and Sunday, everything's automatically already assigned. With also these new buses, if I can see one, wait, it says the new bus route. The 159 is a new, the one, the 4195 is new, uh, and then there'll be the 90, and the 45, and the 40, the 75, and the 74. So, basically, the 75 goes one way around, the 74 goes the other way around. I don't even know what shopping centre this is. Salford Shopping Centre, so we're at Salford here. 
So it's a, it just goes round in a, in a loop, I guess. I guess, I guess there's parking around here or something. That's the way it goes. Obviously, this one, yeah. I have stuck this on a certain times, but I'm probably going to end up editing it, so it'll just be one route. Basically, it'll, it takes half an hour to go around. So we're going to split them every half an hour. So one goes around one way, one goes around another way. Um, but for the time being, they're every 15 minutes, and we'll see how that goes. No, no. I'm not going to do that. We're going to edit timetable. Just going to make this every day. Apart from today. Delete that timetable. Apply. Do the same for this one. Delete that timetable and confirm. Basically, they will each run each side. I need to edit timetable again. Bring it forward an hour. Timetable again. Forward and a half an hour, an hour. There we go. And then hopefully these should to schedule them. And obviously we're going to need some more buses for that. But if we have a look at where our 74s and 75s are, if they're on single wheelbase buses or the mini buses, 74, 75, can I see that? Yeah, so solo. Oh, they're on the solo buses. So I might mean to get more solo buses. Uh, I'm probably going to go uh, down the route of getting more double-deckers. But there's two buses we basically need for tomorrow to get them all assigned. Day is all assigned and it's great. That just means we can push the head and get this operational a day ahead with having one go one way, one go another way. Uh, as for this one, uh, 90... They would run every 40 minutes, and it would basically be two buses on the network at a time. So, we'll wait and just do the weekends on that one for the time being. But today is our last day of our little festival. So with that being said, all of our city festival, all of our buses should be up and operational. We will hopefully get more time. How did our contract go yesterday? We were so close to running out of our contract, but we made two hundred. We made more profit yesterday, which was insane. Probably because we had more buses on them. To be fair. But yeah, double deckers are the way to go forward that we need to do. And we're back. So I've purchased another second-hand bus, double decker. You make it the the ninth double decker. Is it ninth or eighth? It is the ninth. Let me allocate the parking. Let me get everything repaired because not enough replacement parts. I don't have any batteries. Okay. Let me purchase. A battery. We'll get it immediately delivered. And we'll get this repaired. First things first, get the upgrades going. Has the repair been sent into the back? Um, not just yet. It looks like it's gone into the back now. Yes. Start that repair. And we're going to get it painted as well. And that'll be another bus free for tomorrow. So if we go onto the shift for tomorrow, we can assign another one. We need. We still need more buses. Uh, until then, we also have added another bus route, which is the four six uh, nine uh, for four six the uh, two six seven. Sorry, so it's similar to. The four six eight, but it just adds this extra bit in. So I've edited it as such. It only runs on a weekend at the moment, but it, we will hopefully get it running on the weekday as well. Uh, and obviously, it will hopefully 
imp- impact a lot of stuff. But at the moment, all of our weekend buses are assigned for every bus. So that is good. So then hopefully we'll get our increased network coverage. Uh, with that being said, our bus is probably getting cleaned or repaired. Do we have enough to buy another second-hand double-decker? There's no second-hand double-deckers yet. That's not what we want. We have one broken bus. No, we don't, because that's the one that's just been repaired. And to buy a new one, it's still 43100 Is expensive. Because I literally just paid a battery price of 4000 which is not bad. I can't remember how much we've paid for this bus. Does it say? It doesn't say how much we paid for it. But it is already scheduled for the network for tomorrow. Which we still need another bus to cover. Which I can buy a brand new bus right now to cover that. So, unless there's no second hand, we'll get a brand new. Stick that on there. And then that'll be our 10th double decker. Press the wrong button. There we go. So that is now ready. This one will be our 10th bus. 10th double decker, DO10. Give you to that parking space. And then we should be able to assign it for tomorrow and have everything assigned for Friday as well. That is great. So we're assigning a lot more buses. You want a bus, you're not getting a bus. And we're basically just trying to get as many more buses uh, sorted as we can. I'm probably going to uh, edit all these to go down here as well. Uh, just so then I've got this area free for more solo buses. And obviously they're all lined up correctly. Um, yeah, so we could probably get another... We could double our solo buses. Our double deckers are fine. Solo buses, maybe some mini buses. Get 20 mini buses, maybe. Uh, how many drivers do we have? We have 80 drivers and 48 buses, so that's decent enough. Uh, that's everything all sorted for bus wise. Um, let me save here. And then I can start maneuvering these over. And then when the buses come back, I can then oper figure out how these are going to be all sorted. You're going to be nine. Your pocket space is going to be eight, nine. And then we can figure this all out as we go through with everything. But yeah. Buying secondhand is definitely the way to go at the moment. Uh, the centre is getting absolutely rammed with the extra passengers. And as soon as we get more... Ooh. Got to offer you... 44 and... 34 and a half. Okay, that got accepted. Very nice. I don't know where this is going to park. Your space is going to be there going to be 11 e -O 11 uh you're going to be upgraded to them cleaned repaired and then obviously painted once all that's done you are 14 so you will actually park there and obviously we want to get as many more Double deckers as possible. Is that now utilizing all of our double deckers? It is. That is good. Obviously, the more buses we get, the better it is for us in the end. Fantastic. Once this has been repaired, fixed, uh, recharged, we can get that cleaned. Is there any more? 
not there's only new ones to buy so that's fine for now we don't mind some of the used buses because like i say it's cheaper for us to purchase other new ones uh it's cheaper for us to purchase a used one and then spend a little bit of money doing it all make sure it's our paint paint the chip uh, make sure the paint job is well and up and running and great you are number 12 so it's 14 13 12 you would park there how are we doing on bus fleets no used buses at the moment are you ready for paint no you're gonna get upgraded you're ready for paint Still no double deckers available to purchase second hand probably have some research we can do which would be an extra area but we need 30 percent coverage so we need those new bus routes up and operational before we can extend which will be this weekend in fact it'll be tomorrow that one network will be on operational we can now paint this bus any more used buses for sale there is not we'll get this bus painted when all our other buses are back in we can get them assigned the stops we can also then move these buses over there here as well get them all assigned correctly there's the paint job done for that bus okay we have quite a few uh you have quite a bit to do so we'll offer you twenty eight thousand. you're going to accept it we have three spaces so if you're going to accept thirty thousand, we'll take you each you have are you going to accept another oh we don't have enough money for that one we've got two more buses coming in hopefully they don't park over here which you are make sure that's number 12 We've got plenty of du uh, double deckers now, haven't we? On the go. And that'll be 13. EL 13. Great. You need a bit of everything replacing, and we're also going to do your tyres. Not enough parts. We don't have any indicators. Why do we not have any indicators? Right. Replacements indicators and then immediately delivered what about you for repairs get you scheduled in what about upgrades on both what about you you need them too as well your repairs are already ready in the works So are you. So they will get repaired. And numbered. We're so close to getting another double the next double decker. You are number ten, so you would be there. Make sure when these solo buses come back they get the correct buses. Make sure they get cleaned. Make sure you get cleaned. When they're ready, we'll also paint them. Great. Assign them all for the next few days until Sunday. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the weekend through. Do you have any buses without that were any busters on we do not that is fine so like i said we'll just get these buses repaired cleaned up painted you definitely need a wash Be clean like i said get these buses back
get everything parked up and we're all good to go then. We're just missing 8, 11 and 13. One's probably going to end up parking up here as we know. You need to park there. Uh, we've completed our tours. We've got more money. Which means I could probably buy you if you're going to give me it for 28 and a half. You are not. Are you going to give me yours for 31 and a half? You are. Amazing. Uh, knowing the new boss is going to park over here. Let's assign it over here. Get it the correct number. And then get it on repair schedules. Upgrade everything. And that's grand. So that means these buses should just park here, which your eight, which you park there. And then 11 should just now slot in there when it's ready. I'm back. Which it has. Let me start moving these over one by one. Waiting for these to be ready for everything. Painting. Get the ball assigned over this way. We've got repairs being completed, which is great. Moved over there. Get all these assigned correctly to their new spaces. Great, and then I can start moving the next lot over. Are you all ready for painting? You are ready for painting. While that's wait, ready, waiting for painting, I can start moving these over. Okay. You've painted up as the new livery. You all moved over. There we go. And make sure they're all assigned to their correct base. Go perfect. You ready for painting? You are. How's your technical condition? Your tires, you need new tires. I thought I'd already sent you for new tires. So forgotten. Anyway, they'll be ready for tomorrow. And we're doing well. All the buses are getting operational. You now just need painting. And then all the new buses and equipment are ready to go. So yeah, we've had a very busy, busy day. Uh, getting 14 buses. 14 double-decker buses is quite a, a feat in one episode. And obviously we've got a Saturday, up to Saturday and Sunday sorted. So I believe it was these two routes we can now... Confirm for Wednesday. 
on both days. And that'll be operational from next week. We're going to need a lot more solo buses. And obviously, we've now no longer got the boost of the, the uh, festival going on. But here is our 45, 44. So it go it goes to it is a forty four then it goes to a forty five then it goes to a forty four again I'm guessing. So we'll just see how this goes. Go. It goes one way around the loop. Perfect. And then it swaps to the. The 75 goes the opposite way around. Very nice. So we're getting, obviously, our coverage up, and then it will swap to the 44 again. Yeah, it's just going to continue doing that, which is what we want. This one is going to be different. Obviously, it'll be one, then the other. This the the eight, the ninety is. I think there's going to be two buses on this network at a time. Yeah, so we're just waiting on the weekend for that. They don't really. These bus routes are just separate at the moment. Nothing is connecting them, connecting between the two, which is a little annoying for us because we want to get the internet connectivity to get more people running the buses. But as long as we slowly add the networks in, then that is best. But until then, I think that'll be it for today's episode. The 109A, obviously, at the moment is not the best running network, uh, the bus, because obviously it's only a half a bus, a half a bus route, and we've not optimized this as much as we should. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to get this game running over the weekend. Ha hopefully... Our increased network will be with this one and these two running on weekends. Uh, I'll look into what other bus routes can we can currently do in the current area we have. Uh, I'll probably look at getting more solo uh, buses, like uh, long wheelbase solo buses. Um, and we'll go from there, to be honest. I don't know if there's anything else we need to do. Unless, do we go solo buses or do we go double-deckers? Because I could move all these double deckers over here and then get a lot more. Keep this for our solo buses for now. Maybe get some mini buses. I know we want to get more mini buses, but for the time, but yeah. I think we're going to go get more mini buses, then work on our double deckers. Or long wheelbases. Which ones do we work on? I'll figure that out for the next episode. But until then, like I say. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We've got a lot of double deckers. We're starting to get Salford in the area, and I think our next unlock will definitely get Greater Manchester. Um, double deckers, more bus routes, everything's going great. We are pushing it as much as we can. Um, yeah, so I hope you've been enjoying the episode, uh, enjoying the series so far. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you're new here, hit the subscribe bell. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell, whatever it is it says. Uh, and I'll see you next time for the next episode.